Hi! So I wanted to test on my channel a new kind of videos. I want to make weekly vlogs. Um, basically, I will be filming every day bits and pieces of me making art. It's going to be about me drawing, uh, sketching, uh, creating pins, um, taking care of my shop, building my business and that sort of things. And then I will publish the video on Sundays. I think documenting this in videos will help me focus on what I have to do every week. So hopefully this will help me and I thought it would be interesting for you to see those behind the scenes um, moments of me um, creating the art that you see on me on my Instagram or on my art videos. Okay, so next I'm going to take you to my workspace and then I will get to work. Okay, so very quickly over here you've got some decoration. I've got my swatches for my pro markers decoration, I've got my sketching and inking supplies, some masking tapes, uh, cutting tools, my little doodles of September, a ruler, cutting mat, some sketchbooks, and I've got all my markers. Basically this is where I draw and of course I do draw here sometimes. I've got my uh, Wacom tablet over here I just received my package uh, It's my Halloween pins and I'm so excited to open it Okay, so I've removed the, the pins from the plastic, from all of them, and now I'm going to check um, if they are good quality and all. And I have to say, um, it feels really weird to have something that I created, manufactured, right in front of me. I'm going to show you a little close-up. There should be about 50 of them. Now I'm going to sort them out. So this is a good example of a perfect pin. Uh, some of them are flaws, but because the colors are filled by hand, it's, I mean, it's something you can really avoid. Okay, so I've got to do that for all the spins. So far I've got much more uh, pins with flowers than without. Okay, so I'm done sorting them. Um, those are the good ones. Those are the float ones. Some flaws are really, really, really small. I might actually, depending on the flaws, I might actually be able to uh, put them in the good batch. Okay, so this is an example of a float one. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Um, so where I'm pointing over there, there's a sort of a gap in the filling. So it's really small, but it's there. Okay, so another example, do you see below the moon? There's sort of a scratch. So my cat is home. Let's see if she likes. The pins. Hey. <laughs> okay. I don't think she cares. Okay, so now I have to work on a comic page for a magazine I'm doing with my friends. And I'm very, very late. So I'll get to it.
Uh, it is, I think, 5 p.m. Um, I need a little break, but this is what I have so far. Also, I always sketch my ID first on paper. So I've done my little doodle and now comes the fun part and we're gonna cut it. Done. Okay, I've got everything set up. And I've got my photo. Hey guys, it's Tuesday and I'm starting the day with some nice mail. I received three cute little pins. Okay, let me show you. They're made by Mino and Moss. And I received my scroller box. Okay, so now I have to work on this illustration. That goes with my little Halloween pin. So this is what I'm going to do this afternoon. And also have to work on some other projects. Okay, so I think I'm done. Um, this is what I have so far and this is what it looked like before. As you can see, I hope this is an improvement. <laughs> Okay, now I'm editing the picture a little bit um, and then I'm adding the text publish on the picture and there we go by the way if you're wondering what I'm doing I'm taking part is this challenge by youtuber save lemon and if you go to the hashtag save lemon uh, you can see other people's work. Okay, last update of the day. I made a little mock-up card for my Mooncat Zombie pin. Good night. Hello everyone, it's Wednesday today. This morning I had to do a lot of boring stuff. Something to do with administration and stuff like that but now I'm going to um, shoot 
pictures for this little guy. Okay, so for the shooting, I want other Halloween pins. So this is my pin drawer. So I'm gonna grab a few of them. Okay, so those are all the Halloween pins that I got so far. So we've got one from Glitter Punk, three from Magic Circle, uh, one is from Ugly Plants. Yes, Ugly Plants, little bat. Uh, this one is my Pokemon Halloween Circus 2016 pin. The three are from Full Fox Studio, and this is mine. For the second picture, I want to use my very own button uh, drawer. And I got my envelopes. Hey! <laughs> I think I bought the wrong size. I'm an idiot. No! Yeah, three is the maximum. And I bought those for my Kickstarter project, thinking I will ship um, the pins, the four pins in those ones. Not gonna make it. Should be enough for my Halloween pins, I guess, because I doubt people will buy more than one. And for one or two pins, it's more than enough. So fast forward a lot of hours, it is now 8pm and I've done my little drawing of the day. The theme was Raven and this is a pigeon feather but this is the only real feather that I could find for decoration so that will do. So it's 11.30pm, it's quite late. I'm going to bed in a few minutes, but I wanted to show you what I've been working on. Uh, those are my sketches for Inktober that will start in a couple of days now. I thought that since this is my first Inktober, I might as well stick to the official rules and prompts. Anyway, so this is my first sketch for Swift. This is my sketch for Divided. And this is very rough. Um, this is my sketch for poison. Uh, this is my sketch for underwater. So, yeah, that's it for today. And I'll see you in a little bit for tomorrow's vlog. Hello, everyone. I'm starting the day with a little shoot for my Mooncat zombie pin. It's really an amazing feeling to hold in my hand something that I made. I mean, I didn't made it by hand, but I designed the little pin. Also, with the envelope issue from yesterday, I figured that uh, I would still ship those pins inside because you know you can fit one, you can fit I think two. I printed like little mockups. This is the tracking number, and this is the stamp. And there's not enough room for the address uh, and my address. So I will go to the post office later today and ask them if I can uh, create a template, my own template, with uh, the same information but maybe a bit um, less wide. Uh, so I hope they say yes. Also, I just realized have it. 600 subscribers on my YouTube channel. That's amazing. Thank you so 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 much A few hours later, it is 7 p.m. I went to the post office this afternoon and I can totally um, create my own template like this and Put it on my envelope as long as I have the right informations so that's good you guys I totally forgot but the most important news of the day is that I received pictures of my pins 
gonna show you the rest of them. This is the deer. This is the otter, the fox, and the owl. Honestly, I'm so happy. I was so scared the colors were going to be bad. I think the one that um, was the most complicated in terms of colors was the fox. Those two colors were difficult to pick. This one, I would have picked a lighter one because um, it's it, it's a bit too bright and I wanted pastel. I'm still very, very happy. It's 11 p.m. Super tired. I'm going to bed. I'm just showing you a little drawing of the day. A little maze. But I'm going to bed. See you in a minute. So I'm back today for vlogging. Yesterday was just so busy and today is also a very, very busy day. This is everything that I have to do today. Um, I usually have my planner like this. This is a cinnamon one. Uh, but you know, the spaces are really small. So for today I made a whole list. Okay, so I have to draw the theme for today, uh, for yesterday's doodle that I didn't have time to do. Yeah, yesterday was footprint and today is gradient. them organized in colors. <laughs> mm. Also, I realized that those being the last doodle of September, I need to film a sketchbook tour uh, update. So I've got to showcase my drawings from July, August and September. First thing is done. Yay! <laughs> I've received my little plastic baggies for uh, my pins. I tested it. Uh, this looks pretty good except for the width. I wanted to take a pictures of all my little doodles from the month of September. I think they look so cool when they're all next to each other. So which one is your favorite? I think mine or um, the fish, the orange. Um, I did like the uh, pencil and the cheek. Okay, so I'm preparing my stuff for Inktober tomorrow. So basically I'm cutting my paper from a very old um, sketchbook. And those are 15 centimeters by 21. And I'm going to cut as many as I need for other days.
that's ready for Inktober. Okay, next thing is this. This is actually a light box. Probably can't see, but basically there's a switch. You turn it once for dim light, twice for brighter light, and three times for an even more bright, bright light. So the reason why I'm using a light box and not not inking directly on my sketches is I actually want to keep my sketches and compare them to the ink piece in the end. Those are the tests that I've made with the ink. Wait, let me bring you a little closer. So those are the tests that I've made. This is the first one. So I used this new ink, this one, that I'm gonna use for my drawings. Uh, for the outline, and then I use some Ecoline ink, like this one. First try, and I'm not satisfied, 100% satisfied with them, but I mean, I tried. Okay, so I just noticed that in my sketches, all of them are f like full body sketches, except this one. And I don't know if I'm bothered by it, like I don't know if I want all of them to be full body or if I'm gonna mix it sometimes. If it's the only one that is not full body, it's gonna be a bit weird maybe. I don't know. Like I've made the first two, then a portrait, then I can make two full bodies and then a portrait. Maybe I'll do that. Hello! So I'm editing my video of the week, the vlog, and I'm already at eight or nine, nine minutes and it's only day two on the video. So I think that next week I'm gonna... Oh, sorry, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> so I was saying next week I'm gonna cut a bit more pieces. I finished editing until Friday and for now the vlog is 16 minutes long which is okay if you consider that I've edited five days out of seven. Okay, it's time to start Inktober. So I'm gonna uh, tape this to my light box. And I'm taking a piece of paper. Like, like this should be okay. Because if I'm done tracing, I'm going to remove very carefully the tape. And this is what I have. So this is the first sketch and this is the sketch after I've traced. Okay, I'm going to ink this piece but I need to stop vlogging for this week because I still have to edit export and upload but i hope you enjoyed and don't hesitate to leave in the comments what you thought of this first weekly vlog so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in my next video bye